Hello, it's Alex again, and I am back with another video to start off the month of May. So for those of you that don't know, May is actually Mental Health Awareness Month. So for 2021 Mental Health Awareness Month, the main message is you are not alone. So now more than ever, we really need to find ways to stay connected with our community and no one should feel alone or without the information, support, and help that they need and also very much deserve. So along with that, we are also striving to reduce the stigma that surrounds mental health and raise awareness of the impact that mental health has on not only just your mental well-being, but also your physical and emotional well-being too. And it also has an impact on our communities. And when we're all as a community facing certain hardships like the COVID-19 pandemic, we see that our communities end up really being affected. So again, we need to work on ending the stigma. The sooner we end the stigma, the sooner people will feel comfortable reaching out for support or assistance. So the more we can normalize these conversations and make people feel like they are not alone in these mental health struggles that they may have, the sooner that people will be able to get support that they need. So keep an eye out for different tips and tricks throughout the month of May, but I will leave you with a few just so you can really start honoring uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. So prioritize your mental health. And what I mean by that is if you've heard the saying in the airplane where you put the oxygen mask on yourself before you assist someone else with their oxygen mask, it's the same sort of thing. Make sure your needs are meant for your mental health and that way you can better assist others in future situations. But first you got to prioritize your needs. Another thing is share information and resources. If you found information that was really helpful to you, maybe share it somewhere, post it on your story, share it with a friend. You never know who might really benefit from that information. And then another thing is check in with loved ones. It doesn't have to be a big, serious conversation, but just remind people that you care and that you're there for them. And a big thing is remind someone that they are not alone. Everyone needs to hear that, especially now. So I'm going to take some time right now to remind you that you are not alone. Keep an eye out during the rest of the month of May for more information, resources, and maybe some challenges that you can do to receive some prizes. Our lovely youth specialist, Lauren, is going to be moving on to another agency and is going to be starting a new journey. We are so incredibly excited for her, but we will miss her tremendously. So Lauren did have a little message for you all and I will play it now. Hi everybody, it's Lauren here. Just kind of wanted to pop on and give a quick goodbye. Um, I am so appreciative of all of the folks that watch these videos, that interact with these videos, um, the youth and the family that I've gotten to work with personally and all of the other families in our program. Um, just an incredibly wonderful group of people and you know your resilience and and dedication to growing um inspires me and it's been an honor and a privilege to get to come on and find creative ways to connect especially over the last year um, and get to talk about some really important mental health issues um, so I know that you will be in great hands because Alex is wonderful and will continue to put out content, but I just wanted to give you an update about myself and tell you all that, um, I will miss you and it's been wonderful and best wishes on your next adventure. So thank you, Lauren. Thank you for all you've done for all of us and all of your appearances and videos. We will miss you so much but we wish you nothing but the best for what's to come.